everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way, and I'm back again with one more project with the swing set, and I just love this set. So I could actually take about three or four more weeks, but I am just gonna take one more, and uh, I wanted to show you this really simple project. So we're starting the countdown to Christmas here pretty soon, and I wanted to do a little snowy scene with this. I just love this little swing, and it's really, um, it's really versatile. So we're gonna do this little project. Does it take very much and it's super super quick and easy to do so here's what we're gonna need we're going to need the swing set of course and we're gonna use this little swing right here and then uh, also the branches set so a large one and a small one so you can use any of these actually but I'm gonna use these two and then the little mini critter set so any of these are gonna work on there, maybe not the little uh, deer, but any of these four will work. I've chosen the cat, but if you have this set, you could use any of those little guys. And then in the foliage set four, so we're gonna use one of these two, it doesn't matter, either one will work. And then in the foliage set two, we're gonna use this little fur bow here. And that is all that it's going to take to do this. So you can see that I've kind of created a little border here. I wanted to kind of keep this into this little area. Sometimes the little projects are easier to do. They're not quite as overwhelming and you don't have to worry so much about where everything's going. And when you're just getting the idea of this little swing, we don't really know where the tree is, but that's okay. We've got some foreground in here and it's just, it's not intimidating to do something little like this. So if you feel like sometimes your scenes are getting too big and kind of going off the page, try something like this because um, like I said, it's not quite so intimidating. So the easiest way to do this that I have found is to cut a little piece of cardstock. This is a little piece of watercolor and I cut it to the size that I want. I just put it onto my watercolor paper and trace around it. And then I don't have to measure with a ruler and it's way, way quicker and easier. And then I just take my post-it tape and I just place it right along the edge of that pencil line, just so easy. So you can do um, lots of different shapes. You don't necessarily have to do a square, you can do a rectangle. That will work too. Okay, so I've got my surface all ready and I'm ready to start my little painting. So we are going to start with the basic image and in this case, it's the little swing. So I wanna place that cat on there and you know, I don't really need to mask it. I pretty much just need to leave the back line off of the swing. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just ink this and then leave the back part off. So two colors, I'm gonna ink it in the dark blue first. And then I'm gonna go back over it again with the dark brown. So I'm inking everything but that, um, that back side. And I'm just gonna stamp this off now, just so I don't get it too dark. And then I'm, I'm gonna just kind of stamp it, um, just not quite in the middle, a little bit farther to the bottom, something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. And now I am going to use my positioner because I wanna put this little cat on here and I wanna make sure I get it in the right place. So I'm going to use my little handy positioner and I'm just gonna stamp this guy in the dark brown. So I'm just gonna ink him all up. Even if it's white, you still wanna stamp it in this brown color uh, just to give it a little more weight. And stamping it on the little shield like this will take some of that color off so you can see that little guy fits right onto that swing. And when you, you know, when you go to stamp these, especially these little tiny stamps like this with the fine lines, don't mash it into your paper. Just stamp it really, really lightly, just like that. Okay, that is a good start. So let's go ahead and add some water now to this. So I'm gonna dip my brush in my water and I'm just gonna pinch it off to make sure I don't get too much. And I'm gonna start down here. This is where it would be the darkest. Back in here like this. And you can see it does not take much. It doesn't take much to do this. And especially this little cat, we're gonna leave him very light. And so we're just doing the starting, just in the starting stage right here. If you feel like you're getting too much, too much water or too much color, I mean, these things are so tiny, just keep pinching your brush off and just get it drier and drier. Okay, so let's add a little color now to the palette. And I'm gonna add a little gray. I'm gonna make this little guy uh, white, but I'm gonna make him a Siamese. 
So that means he's got the little dark ears and a little dark nose. And you can see my brush is really, really dry. And I'm putting a little more color on the tail here. Okay, that's a good start. So I'm just gonna take my pencil now and really darken this little area here where his little nose is and his eyes. Pencil just works great for stuff like this. And then I'm gonna add a little of the dark blue now to my palette. And I'm just gonna put a little shadow in here. Just a little bit. We could have a little bit back in here too. There we go, that's a good, that's a good start. We can always come back and add a little bit uh, more color to him if we want to. So let's go ahead and add our background in and we're gonna start with the Molotov. So I just love this thing because it, um, it does a great job with snow. And what you wanna do is pump it first so that you get that coming out, that uh, masking fluid coming out. And I'm just gonna put this all over my little painting. You can put as much of this on as you would like. It's so easy to take it off. It just rubs right off. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and my masking fluid is dry. You can see because it's turned color and gotten really dark, so I'm, I'm good to paint over the top of it now. It's not gonna smear. So I'm going to do just that. I'm gonna take some of this blue from my palette and brush in a little background here. Don't stress out about this part. Just brush in a little color. Got a little snow in the background here. And then uh, underneath here, we're gonna just put a little shadow in, right under here where this little swing would be. And then maybe just a few other little, few other little marks. Nothing too stressful. And then I'm gonna come back in here and now I'm gonna start up a little bit higher and I'm gonna kind of show a little cloud line. So I'm gonna brush in this background and not come all the way down to the horizon. And you can see I'm adding quite a bit of color on here. So I've got quite a bit of water on my palette. And I'm just brushing this in. And you wanna just make sure that you get enough color on the sides uh, so that when you take your masking paper off, your post-it paper, um, you'll be able to see where that line is. Okay, that looks good. So let's go ahead and put our foreground in. Make sure that this is dry first, and it is. So let's go ahead and add our foreground in and I'm gonna use my dark brown and my little branch. And I'm just gonna stamp this in here just a couple of times. That looks good. And I'm gonna add my foliage now to it. So here's that little foliage, that little tiny vine. And I'm just using the tip. And just make sure that you're tapping it in here a few times. So more than once. And I can add some water now to that. So I'm just gonna kind of blend this out a little bit. You can see that brown is kind of mixing in with the green, that's good. And remember, you're not painting, you're just dabbing. So I'm just kind of jumping my brush around this little foliage. 
And once I'm finished with that, I can add my little berries to it. Just little dots. I'm using the fine tip of my red, bright red. And you can just put as many of these in as you'd like. And then back in here, now that this is dry, we can go ahead and add in that, um, that little branch in the background. So this is the, this is the large one now, and I'm just going to ink this with the dark green. This is a really dark, deep green. And I'm just going to stamp this in here just once and maybe twice. And now I can come back in with the fur bow. And again, you want to stamp this in here a few times, so more than once. And just stamp it in there. You know, there's not, there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just so easy. And then jump your brush around. Kind of blend it out. So you're stamping it and then you're adding water to it. Always remember to pinch your brush off. That's a must. So that you don't, don't get too much water. And I'm just making sure I've got plenty of color on the sides. I think I'll come back and make this just a little bit darker under here. That looks good. So I'm just gonna take my, I'm gonna take my tiny brush now. This is the number one, and pinch it off. And I'm just gonna make sure that I get enough shadow in here, next to this little kitty, and his ears, and under his tail. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now let's add in this, the ropes for the swing. So we're gonna take these two corners and we're just gonna bring this line up and I'm using a pencil. And you're just kind of creating a little triangle like that. And then just bring this line all the way up. And that is all there is to it for a swing. So easy to do. Take my fine tip now for my dark brown. And I'm just gonna add a little color where the holes are. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we are ready to take our tape off. pulls off really easily. Never have to worry about it ripping your paper. And then I'm gonna take my eraser now and take those lines off. Make sure your image is dry before you do this. And just erase all that off. And now we can take our masking fluid off. See our little snow in the background? And we've got our little guy all done. So we just need to sign a date. And of course you could add some glitter onto this. That would be so cute. I would do it on the video, but it never shows up very well. But try that, add a little glitter, use your wink of Stella, use your wink of Stella and uh, add a little sparkle to it and really make it Christmassy. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you all next week.